Welcome back to Tactical Maine. Alright dudes, in this video we are going to take a closer look at the PSA Bolt, the premium bolt that I got. Uh, if you haven't seen my previous video, the unboxing and taking a closer look at it, check it out. There's a link in the description down below. Pretty rough shape that uh, finish was on that bolt and pretty tight tolerances. Uh, and I, I said in that video I was going to put it in my 10.3 inch pistol and uh, give her a run for her money. Got 224 rounds on range, 828 round, yep, 828 round magazines fired uh, in quick succession. Not so, no torture test, like 224 rounds. It's not going to tell us anything, really, but it will tell us if it functioned. Did it? I don't know. Let's watch. So you see guys, it functioned flawless. I didn't show you all 224 rounds because who wants to sit around and watch 224 bullets being fired, right? No, she ran perfectly fine, not a single problem, no hiccups, nothing. Let's break her out of here. I haven't cleaned her yet. Let's get her down on the table, get the camera close up, let's see how dirty 224 rounds gets her and let's see if it can actually be wiped off. Get closer. All right, there we go. Let's get this joker out of here guys. Get her. Let's see how dirty she actually is. I'm gonna try to make this video as quick as possible guys. Here it is removed from the from the pistol. See looks like a little bit may have been worn off on the logo. That's no big deal whatsoever don't care about the logo or it could just be carbon covering it we'll find out here in a second just want to run it down so you guys can compare it with the original video like I said if you haven't seen it check out the link in the description below it's a basic unboxing and going over how rough the finish was so there you go 224 rounds no big deal any bolt should be able to handle that even your your commercial spec bolt but here's the real test is it gonna wipe clean let's find out I'm not gonna sit here and clean the whole thing for you guys yep that was just carbon covering the logo the logo did not wear away I, I really didn't think 224 rounds was enough to to get that off of there but it seems to be cleaning up fairly easily I'm not gonna go through and do a full cleaning on it guys I'm just wiping it down I'm gonna wipe it down and re-oil it and put it back in the pistol and keep running her finishes actually wear marks there's literally none but again it was only 224 rounds so that is nothing it's all gunked up got uh, firing some steel case with the uh, sealed primer pocket so you got a lot of nice sealant on that bolt face there she loosened right on up I don't know if you guys remember but if you if you haven't seen the video go back and take a look again the links in the description down below pulling that out was a uh, a feat all in its own it took uh, quite a bit more force than that but now she's running just fine so that's all she needed was some rounds fired that's it let me see if I can't get you a close-up of the actual locking lugs 
You see how rough that finish is? Again, that's, I mean, some of it might be carbon, but most of that is just the rough finish. Pretty crazy rough. A little bit of wear right there on that locking lug. Nothing, nothing uh, unusual. Yes, it's been fired, it's dirty. There's the bolt, nice and dirty. No unusual wear anywhere, no dings, marks, chips, cracks, nothing. Let's see how easy it is to get back in. Wow, guys, I don't know. <laughs> it was a whole lot stiffer than that. She's loosened up a good bit. All she needed was a couple of rounds. That's all she needed. There she is, back together. Does she stand? She stands and doesn't fall. Push her down, pull her out. So much easier, so much better. There you are, guys. A nice, dirty Palmetto State Armory boot. There you have it, guys. 224 rounds. Like I said, it's only 224 rounds. Uh, but it's out of an AR 10.3 inch AR pistol with a carbine gas system. So maybe not as rough as an actual pistol gas length system. But nonetheless, rough. 224 rounds. You saw it. You saw her up close. Nothing wrong with it. No finish wear. The finish actually seems to have smoothed out just a little bit in certain areas. Not a whole lot. Still pretty rough. Rough finish. You could probably uh, use it as a some fine sandpaper or something and sand something down if you wanted to. It's, it's kind of really that rough. But no unusual wear. But does anything really have unusual wear after 224 rounds? Not that I'm aware of, unless it's just inferior quality. She did loosen up nice. That's to me is mind boggling. Mind boggling how that is now actually like a normal AR bolt. Previously, it was just damn near impossible just to do that. Uh, so it is like a normal standard bolt. My two cents on this Joker right here: if you can pick up this PSA Premium Full Auto bolt carrier bolt combo group whatever for in the ballpark of 70 to 80 dollars i say jump on it um if it was going to have a severe failure it probably would have had it by now i'm not saying it's not going to i'm going to keep running the hell out of this thing uh so stay tuned for more round count updates on this joker but yeah if you need a bolt and this thing is 70 80 dollars on sale and in stock and you don't really care about having a premium bolt, jump on it. It seems to be doing great, zero problems. Steel case ammo, lacquer coated steel case ammo. So it was just ripping and pulling, doing its job, firing, every round went bang. That's my thoughts, my 200 round update on this Joker. Again, stay tuned for probably a 500 and then a thousand uh, round update on this. And obviously, should I have any failures sooner than that, I will make a video and share it with you guys. But again, not bad for the price. I, I, I'm pretty much sold and, and happy I spent the money on this Joker. Thanks for watching the video. Go ahead and leave a like, comment, subscribe. If you want to support the channel, click on one of the Amazon links down below. Buy something. You don't have to buy what I link you. Just buy something else. But just use that link. Support the channel and maybe I can keep buying some ammo to bring you more update videos. Again, thanks for stopping by, guys.